All right, guys, so this is a very exciting moment for me. I planted this guy from seed. I transplanted him about two weeks ago, and he was literally about this tall. But I'm just amazed at how big it's gotten, how thick the stem has gotten, and how green the foliage is. I've seen a lot of tomato plants where the foliage is not that green. It's a light yellow. Um, and maybe I did something wrong, but I did an experiment in what I put in these and how I fertilized them. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did to get this one from seed to transplant and then in this container and looking this uh, bright green and beautiful. Um, no disease, no nothing going on with it. This is a big red heirloom variety. Um, I'm just excited to get this one going. Um, like I said, it's a very exciting day for me. I'm happy that it's getting this big. It's only been two weeks and it's put on that much growth. Um, so let's go back to about a month ago uh, when I had these in seed containers and transplanted them out here. Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video for y'all today uh, talking about thinning some, uh, some seedlings. So um, I've looked at numerous videos and the question always comes up, um, why not just pull the seedling out or the plant out? Um, although you can do that, it's easier to just thin them out and I have some pretty good examples here of why you should thin them out. So right here what I have is I have two, uh, the same variety of tomatoes and the same variety of peppers. So these two are the same variety of tomatoes, these two are the same variety of peppers. As you can see the one that hasn't been thinned out, look at that right there. And then the one that has been thinned out is growing nice and healthy and long. The peppers here, you can see clearly see the difference there. Um, this one's been thinned out, it's got some nice long growth. Um, the stem is already a little bit purple, starting to harden off. I've been bringing them in and out. These two right here have not been thinned out, so they're both competing. So the reason you want to thin them out is, imagine uh, the roots all intertwined together, each competing for nutrients and whatever the case is. And then these up top, as you can see, they're thin, not as thick as this one here. And it's because they're all competing for sunlight. One creates a canopy over the other and out competes the other for sunlight or whatever you have on top of them. Uh, and, and in my case, we have some grow lights, but they just compete for light and they don't go anywhere. And if they do, they're going to grow long and lanky, just like these two peppers right here. Now, the peppers are a little bit shorter because peppers grow a little bit uh, slower than tomatoes do. Tomatoes completely outgrow uh, pretty much anything I've seeded so far. Uh, as you can see here, I have this tomato here. Um, this one was thinned out and put in a different container. You can see all the roots in that one. All right, so another thing I wanted to talk about was these uh, peat pellets. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with it, but these are the kind that expand with water. Um, the problem with this is they only expand about two inches and about an inch wide. Um, the problem with this is um, you want a healthy root system in your plant. What happens is when these start to expand, the roots start to grow towards the outside and it creates air pruning. You don't want air pruning. You want as many roots as you can for one single plant. Roots only absorb what they can through the tips of the roots, not through the entire root system, it's just the tips. Um, so if you have something like this that creates air pruning, your water's going in, but it's not really getting absorbed as much. Your nutrients are not getting absorbed as much because it's creating some air pruning. So the tips of the roots are actually on the outside of this. Um, these are more preferred because the roots are going to stay inside compact. They're going to absorb as much water as you can. Once they get to about this size, you want to transfer them over to a cup like this where all the roots are in here again, like I said, and they'll absorb as much as they can. Now this one's ready to be transplanted outside. They've been hardened off pretty good, so they're ready to go and we'll get those transplanted outside. Um, but again, uh, the best thing to do is, is, is thin your plants out. You can't save them. You can't pull one individually out, but chances are you're going to damage some of the roots. Um, if you have the time to do it, by all means do it. Um, not discouraging you from doing it. I just think it's best just to uh, thin them out. Just put them at the bottom here. All right, so when you're thinning out your, your, your seedlings, what you want to do is you want to find the most healthiest one. Um, not necessarily the longest one or the thickest one. Uh, just the one that seems the most healthy. So we're going to get rid of these right here. You want to cut at the base of the root um, to completely discourage it from continuing growing. I doubt it it will, but don't want to take any chances. So like I said, this one right here was the one that was pruned a while back. And uh, it, it's completely healthy, as you can see. It's nice and long. Uh, it has a lot of leaf growth already. Same thing for these peppers right here. 
gonna go ahead and take off this one here. Like I said, that one, although it doesn't look uh, that healthy, I assure you it is. The stem's already turning a little bit purple, looking nice and good. Uh, we'll give this one some water. And uh, right now is also a good time to fertilize them as well. So we're going to go ahead and give it uh, some, some uh, water-soluble fertilizer. What I like to use, I like to use uh, um, some bat guano from Espoma. That seems to be working. Uh, once I transfer them into bigger containers, I'll use some uh, Biotone to get the root system uh, going nice and healthy as well. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about also was the pepper plants, uh, topping them off. Um, so as you can see, this pepper plant right here, it's got kind of like a Y shape already where it wants to start blooming some flowers and, and start to spread out. All that's going to do is create long and lanky peppers. So what you want to do is basically come down to below the Y and just take it off right there. Uh, leave a couple of leaves on there. Once you get that going, it's going to encourage more growth on the side. You can have a bushier pepper plant. Uh, not a long lanky pepper plant so go ahead and do that to your peppers um, I guarantee you you'll have bushier plants uh, the the main the main stem will harden off it'll get thicker um, and you'll have more production if you start seeing some uh, some flower growth starting to come out I have some that are already trying to show, show some flower growth as well take those off pinch them off do whatever you need to do to encourage more energy to go into side shoots once you get started getting those side shoots you'll have a bigger bushier pepper plant um, again, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. This quick video, just to show you. Uh, like I said, I saw a lot of uh, a lot of other videos, and, and the question always comes up: is why thin them? Why can't you just save them? You can save them. I'm not discouraging you from saving them. Although, um, as they're seedlings, uh, most of us don't have the room to accommodate for more than what we're actually seeding. Um, you can give them away as well, but I encourage you just just thin them out. Um, it's it's better for the plant. It's better for the root system. And as you can see, that one right there in the center, a lot healthier than the other ones. Again, these two are the same tomatoes. One's way outgrown the other, and only because I thinned them out way sooner than they needed to be. Um, one more thing is these, these leaves right here. These are the, uh, the seed leaves that come out. You can take those off. Plant doesn't need those anymore. That's just to help it grow once it starts to uh, germinate. And uh, there you have it. Bye, guys. Alright guys, so when I potted this guy up, I used about half peat moss, half potting soil, and I also used some Biotone Starter Plus, which is what we use for all our, uh, all our plants that we put in new containers. And I truly believe that it helps the roots establish and gets them going. And what I also used was this bat guano uh, in the soil as well. I used about a cup of that, and then I used Tomato Tone to fertilize it. And I'm going to be doing that every two weeks. Um, but I'm absolutely pleased with the results. I think it's, it's, it's better than the other tomatoes that I got. But not to say that the other ones aren't growing because those are looking just as healthy. This one's about to start putting on some flowers as well. If you can see in there, um, I think it's going to get going pretty soon. Um, but just very satisfied with what we did here and what we're using. Um, the products that we're using, uh, uh, I've seen a lot of research and done, uh, seen different. So with this tomato tone right here, um, some of the books that I've read and stuff like that that show what to fertilize with um, has exactly every ingredient on here that um it basically i see in everything as far as what to use and the main things being the uh the nitrogen of course um you got your phosphate your potash calcium uh sulfur but everything in the books also mentions these things right here feather meal poultry manure bone meal alfalfa meal green sand sulfate of potash and gypsum and I think that's absolutely what's helping this tomato. Uh, like I said, this tomato tone, uh, uh, we've used it before when I put some uh, from, from store-bought transplants and they absolutely just gave so many tomatoes. But um, I'm happy with the way this is going. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys like what I showed you here. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't given this video a like, please give it a like and we'll see you guys in the next video.